Hey guys, it's me again. In this video, we're going to talk about a very interesting hormone called IGF-1. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. It stands for insulin-like growth factor number one. Now, let me just kind of give you some background on what this hormone is. In the brain, you have this little gland called the pituitary. All right? And the pituitary makes growth hormone. Growth hormone is sent down to the liver, where then liver is triggered will trigger this hormone to be produced, IGF. So IGF-1 is an extension of growth hormone. So whatever growth hormone is doing, IGF is doing. You kind of look at it like um, IGF is the worker bee that's con- that is instructed by growth hormone. Okay. Now, the chemistry of growth hormone is very similar to insulin. Thus the name, insulin-like growth factor, right? And and what happens in the liver, IGF is made, and then you have the pancreas makes insulin. So you have the pancreas that makes insulin and the liver that makes IGF, right? Well, these two hormones work together back and forth, back and forth, to determine what fuel you're going to use. If insulin is kicked in when you're eating, you're going to use sugar fuel. When you don't eat, when you fast, you're going to use fat fuel. Okay? You're going to use some stored sugar, but mainly fat fuel. So we have this determination of if you want to burn sugar or fat. So IGF works when you're not eating, and insulin works when you're eating. Okay? So that's the, kind of the back and forth. But there, see, the IGF is 100 times greater than insulin. So, for example, over time, if you destroy your liver or the liver gets like fatty, you lose the capacity to make IGF, which then forces your body to make more insulin. So, thus the the diabetic situation. So, the liver is very, very uh, vital in protecting you against diabetes. Now, the, the the three big things that lower IGF are insulin, stress, which is cortisol, and estrogen. Okay? Um, And what happens is it's triggered by protein. Now, just a moderate amount of protein, because if you have too much protein, you'll trigger insulin. So a small amount of protein between three and six ounces, you will trigger IGF, all right? Uh, Exercise, intense exercise will trigger IGF. Fasting or intermittent fasting will trigger IGF. Sleeping, high-quality sleep will trigger IGF, all right? So I just want to kind of give you a little background on what this hormone is, and uh, it, it does help you um, in anti-aging. So again, start eating those vegetables, those cruciferous vegetables, start taking care of your liver, do everything you can to maintain the liver function and to keep your IGF very, very high. Thanks for watching.